Hey everybody, it's Melissa and I want to show you my new daily wear because there's not a day that's gone by this month that I haven't worn this and you see it already on my neck. Both these pieces are from Monet, which is a jewelry shop that does four, no, not 14, I'm sorry, 24 karat gold and platinum pieces. So they only do solid 24 karat and platinum. So this right here is the 2.3 millimeter narrow flat curb link. And I really want to specify the 2.3 because it's kind of hard to find on the specifications how thick their chains actually are. Sometimes they show it, sometimes they don't. So 2.3 millimeters. And this is their St. Christopher pendant. And this one I've actually had for a few months now and it's just been kind of hopping on different chains because I'm trying to see what I like and what I don't like. And so this has been my setup. So this here, this chain is 16 inches and initially I got it to wear as kind of a solo piece without a pendant, but I was having a difficult time letting go of the pendant because it's just so meaningful to me. And um, this is, it's it's something that I'd never wanted to take off my neck. So I was like, you know what? What if I throw the two pieces together? And I actually got the bail of this pendant widened because if, you know what? I'm not sure if I did show it, I think on my initial unboxing video of this, no, I didn't, but, when you put the pendant on this chain, it was like, it wouldn't move smoothly. And I know that it's a flat link anyway, so it's gonna have some sort of resistance. It's not gonna be as smooth as a Franco or a rope. So if you are thinking of getting a pendant and you wanna make it easy, go for a rounder style like the Hermes link, the rope, or the Franco chain, right? So I already knew what I was getting into if I threw this, when I threw this on this chain, but Getting that bail widened to accommodate like a five millimeter chain has definitely been a lot better. Cause when I would get out of bed and this pendant would be all the way over here, the second I stand up, it just swoops here. Now, sometimes it'll kind of get stuck in one area, but it's still like at the center of my neck. So it doesn't bother me anymore. And I really do love it. Now, initially I was thinking about trading in this chain and getting a longer piece, like maybe 18, um, 18 inches, right? So it would hang lower, but I have a lot of videos with pendants and chains that are 18 inches on me and it would drop at about an inch. So it would look about 19, 20. And I was like, you know what? Let me just see what it's like with the shorter look. And even if I were to take off the pendant, it would still look great. And I feel like if I got this chain longer, the chain itself might've dwarfed the pendant because the size of their medallions, like the Rising Phoenix, all their religious pieces um, that are circular like this. It's about the size of a US dime. So you could just hold up a dime, put it to your chest or put it next to the chain that you're looking at. And if it looks too small, then you already know your answer. But for me, this has just been great. I, I have been loving it. This is very weighty. I'll show you what it looks like up close as well. But first, I also kind of, cause I was thinking about two chaining, right? Because I do like wearing two pieces and I will say I got my inspiration from this older guy that um, he was coming out of this Chinese restaurant that I was ordering from and he's got like this cane and stuff right and he has a polo and his polo of course is unbuttoned and then you saw two chains at the same length with different pendants so I could tell he's Italian because he has that the uh, cornicello the horn the Italian horn and a crucifix and I complimented him on it and he was really grateful for that compliment, but he looked great. So I was like, you know what? What if I get another chain, same length, maybe like a Figaro, right? Or or whatever, and then have a crucifix pendant because I still love, I know a lot of people wear crucifix pendants and cross pendants, um, but I like for me, I like the sentiment behind them. I don't really care about how, if someone views it to be too popular or whatever, or whatever right? If I enjoy it, I want to wear it. So... I was thinking about that, but I had another chain at 16 inches and I was wearing it with a cross pendant that I own, which is this one right here. But this this was given to me from my grandmother when I graduated, uh, I think it was when I graduated college. Not the chain, but this pendant with another 14 karat piece, another 14 karat chain, right? So I put this on a 16 inch chain that I have from Monet but it just kept going like on top of each other. It wasn't sitting as nice. So I threw this pendant on my 18 inch Franco. And this is what it looks like. And let me tell you that 
this is a look I would definitely go for, but I would need a heavier cross. Like the, the cross here, the disc, there's not only the discoloration, but it's not heavy enough for its own, right? So it kind of looks something like this. Is it like that? Yeah. And I wouldn't, you know, to be honest, I kind of like what I always have my chains out like this. No, I, I would probably tuck them in or probably have one in. And I know if you have a pendant, people say you have to show it off, right? But it's again, if it's a sentimental piece, it doesn't always have to be shown to everybody. Just wearing it is good enough for me. And if it's tucked, that's fine. And if I just have one out, that's perfectly fine with me as well. But yeah, if I had like a heavier cross, right? I feel like to me, I think it looked pretty nice. I think it looked pretty nice. And summer's rolling around and like the gold is just gonna be looking super nice, right? So I just, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it right here. And yeah, I kind of I kind of like it, but y'all tell me what you think. All right, so let me take this piece off and show you my daily wear piece that's been around my neck this whole time. You know what? Let me actually back up all the way here so y'all can kind of see what it looks like. You're not really going to be able to maybe make out the details of the chain, the flat that it's a flat curb, um, but you can definitely see the shine of the pendant. Now, you know, I'll tuck it in too if you want to see it, what it looks like on the side. If you can't see it there, you might not, you might be able to, you might not be able to. But yeah, I do this sometimes too as well. So, and I also want to give you my honest opinion on this piece from Manea, right? I do believe that I was excited when this, when this, uh, not pendant, when this chain came in, but I will say that the sh it was a bit, I didn't expect it to, it, it didn't have as much shine as I expected it to because in comparison to the other pieces that I got from Monet, this one looked a bit more dull, like this flat curve here looked a bit more dull. So what I did is I actually cleaned it. I had a cup of hot water and then I put some dish soap and then I put the chain in there, left it there for maybe 15, 20 minutes and then took it out, rinsed it off. And it, it looked the same, you know, so it, the color of it at first kind of threw me back, but then when I wore it in the sunlight and like I've been wearing it every day, it's just gotten better and better and better. So I think my initial reaction to it was definitely interesting, but this is what the pendant looks like up close, in case you want to see that. And this is the back of it. So I've made a lot of videos about 24 karat gold in general. And in case this is the first video that you see from me, I will say that 24 karat is totally fine for daily wear. Please don't think that you can't throw it on, that it's too soft, that it's gonna break easily. I am ashamed to say that I have dropped this piece multiple times already. And yes, 24 karat would be a bit more susceptible to scratches in comparison to 14 and to 10, um, but it's not something that, oh my gosh, like I, I grabbed it too hard and now it's totally broken, you know? So, and again, in complete transparency to you, because this is not a sponsored video from Monet or anything like that. If you look at the end clasp of the Monet piece right here, like what it connects to, that little ring is a bit small for me. I wish it was stronger. I wish they made it stronger because it's very thin, you know? So that is just kind of an issue I have with it. And also this clasp here, it's not 24 karat. The clasp is 18 karat. If it was 24 karat, then you would probably see the M shape clasp. Like you've, if you look it up, you'll see like the M shape or uh, what's there's there's something else for it. But all in all, I have been enjoying this piece. If you look at the pendant with the bail, you'll see how it's been. Well, you might not be able to tell as much about how it's been elongated, but there it, there was some 18 karat that my jeweler used to fuse, just to widen it a little bit more and then just to put some more gold there, not to strengthen it, but just to open it up so that this pendant would have an easier time on my neck. And I'll show you what it looks like without the pendant, because that was this was the look that I was going for. But I would find myself wearing it without the pendant, and I'm like, dang, I miss my pendant, you know? So it was it just I I got this for the reason that I was gonna wear it like the way I'm showing you right now, like right this second, but and who knows, occasionally, probably I will, because I do like it like this, but that St. Christopher pendant just 
I love it so much. So this is what it looks like without the pendant. I like the way that it hangs. And you know what? Even though this is a flat curb, if you've seen a lot of videos of flat curb reviews, I'm going to tell you right now that this is much more thick than you would expect. And I have a video on my channel about a three millimeter flat curb from Hawaii Rope Chains, and it's razor thin. That's what you expect, something very light in gram weight, something super thin. But this here almost has the thickness of a baby curb, if you've seen a baby curb before. And again, in the initial unboxing video that I did of this piece here, I kind of show you the thickness of it. So I was very pleased and surprised to see how sturdy this chain really was. It's not a paper thin piece at all. And I like the way that it kind of like hangs off your neck. And it's one of those things you wear it and you forget about it. You know, you don't notice until you look in the mirror or someone's like, hey, I like what you have around your neck. I like your chain, I like your necklace, you know? So it's just super easy, especially with summertime around and you're always like taking off your shirt for the beach or the pool. And it's not like the chain is slapping you in the face. I mean, yeah, it's not slapping you in the face because it's higher up on the neck. A pendant isn't slapping you on your face. It's just easy. It's just an easy wear all around. And I have never taken these off my neck unless I'm doing videos like this. So I shower in this thing. I sleep in this thing with, with both of these. I sleep in it, work out in it, sports, beaches, pools, jacuzzis, all of that. So the color has been totally fine. And in fact, I've actually seen people that have said that their 14 karat jewelry, and I think it's like 14 or 10 karat that they got uh, yellow gold, right? This guy was in a jacuzzi and then it like discolored his chain, right? So yeah, like with real gold, you're not gonna get, like that he didn't get like a green neck or anything because that's what happens when you're wearing fake jewelry, right? But he said that the jacuzzi, the heat of the, the water and i think that this is a one-off because even when i've worn my 14 karat jewelry in a jacuzzi it's never like completely discolored but i can see that being a negative effect to those one-off terrible jacuzzi spots but with something like 24 karat you're not gonna have to worry about the color or anything or the chain getting softer in that in that jacuzzi so please don't worry about that and right now i'm gonna weigh out my pieces here so that y'all just kind of know the weight of it. Oh, let me you know what, I'll throw my pendant on there too. So the pendant and my chain at 16 inches is 21 grams. So honestly, a pretty good weight. The chain by itself is like 14.1 grams, which is honestly pretty sturdy. And there you go, okay, I was looking. If you look in the clasp here, you could tell it's 18 karat also, by the way, just because it says 750, meaning 75% solid gold. So that's always something that you could do when you have chains like this. And you also kind of want to see if they're real or not. One of the tricks is one of them, all right, is to look at the inside of the clasp, like that small part, and there should be a stamping of the purity of the chain. Now, again, with 24 karat, it's different because 24 karat doesn't use lobster clasps. Um, so just, just be on the lookout for that. So I'm gonna put this back here. And what I'll do is I'll put my code for Monet in the comment section below. So that is, if you do sign up for Monet, you do receive credits. And I think I get like a $5 credit for my next purchase. It's something small, but even for you, if you wanna sign up for that, I think you get like a $50 credit. So like $50 off or is it $5? That's a big difference, five or $50. I know you get, some money off um, if you use that or something. So if that'd be super cool, then you and I could both save up for something, you know, save some money on something. But overall, I like it. I've told you what I what I didn't like about it, which is mainly that, that this small tiny clasp right here of what it connects to. But this has been very durable with daily wear, with the things that I do. Um, I mean, I work out daily and it's been totally fine. This is, come on, this is, not fun at all so if you are thinking about getting the pendant i say do it but then you might want to get a smaller chain or just just be aware of come on this is the thing also when my hair is down because like my hair keeps getting in the way of this stuff too all right then no wonder it keeps falling like that seeing my struggle right now with this piece all right but yeah, if, if solid 24 karat isn't the move for you and maybe you don't like the coloring of it, 
the platinum pieces are pretty dope and i have i haven't tried their platinum pieces but i have worn platinum chains before and they're gorgeous like if you're more of a cool skin tone or even if you're not a, even if you're a warm skin tone like me but silver's not cutting it white gold isn't cutting it i would say try for platinum because there it shines really nicely and there's just such a beauty to it and here's the thing a majority of people are gonna think you're wearing silver but you know you're wearing platinum so it's one of those pieces that you could wear it abroad without really worrying right whereas if i were to wear if anyone were to wear solid 24 karat jewelry in a place that they've never been before you might be a little bit cautious because when people see yellow gold there's there's been a lot of cases where people want to snatch things right but it's not really the same with silver it's more of a safe bet for a lot of people and people are going to think you're wearing silver but it's actually platinum and it's actually valued a lot higher than silver and white gold you know so that's just a little perk of that so anyways thanks for watching let me know what your daily setup is if you're someone like me that just never takes it off your neck i think that's like the filipino in me and you know what i i knew people that were mexican as well that were the same with just like their jewelry of you know they would be gifted something at a young age i know that i purchased this but they'd be gifted something at a young age and then they would just like wear it i know that i think it's i know someone that was italian that it's the same thing Filipinos with jewelry. I don't know that just I know that there's some cultures that are very big on jewelry from the get-go You know, so you see these young kids wearing something and then they wear it into adulthood And it's fine because it's a real gold necklace, you know, so you never have to worry about it Turning green or it's not fake or anything like that. So Anyways, yeah, let me know your daily wear and I hope you all have a great day. See you later. Bye